Hey buddy, this is Scott with Believers Underground. Uh, I'm not going to allow comments on this video because of the troll activities. But, uh, you know, I want to talk about New Madrid and Wichita, Kansas area. Now, they're, they're on the mark. They're, they're, they're on the grid this year in my 7.0 and greater earthquakes. And it's all science, okay? <laughs> I mean, you got mass loading of weight over in the Pacific. You got mass loading of weight over there in the Atlantic from all this ice melting. And, I mean, you look at the history, okay? Uh, God will deliver us, one of the YouTubers, you know, he, he sent me over some history on some of that area. Because there's a lot of work. <laughs> it's massive work. But anyhow, you know, but that's why I do it for free. And I give it to you, you know, and hope supporters will, will continue to allow me to do it that way. Well, I could sit around selling CDs for 50 bucks a pop. Whatever, man. Uh, you guys are in trouble, man. This earth is in major distress. You got massive ice melting that they haven't seen in 1,450 years. And and now with the Arctic summer sea ice all gone in three years and Greenland still run away and all the other ice places around the earth melting because you got a bunch of holes in your ozone and, and they don't have cell phone wrapped to fly up and fix it. Okay, so we're going to have to ride it out. It's going to be a tough next five years. You know, and I don't want to talk about false prophets, too, man, since I'll just sit here and do this. You know, did you hear that, that rant from the, the Princess of Japan the other day? Man, <laughs> oh, you're going to go into the fifth dimension, and you're going, to, you're, you're going to be in three days of day and night and all this other stuff. Let me clue you in on dimensions, okay, from the particle physicists. I view. Alright? Gravity is being sucked into another dimension. That's the that's your other dimension. You think about scripture. And those guys that went out to battle, the ones that didn't keep their didn't take their eye off the front. You know, they cupped their hand and they bonded it to their mouth. They didn't stick their face in the water. Now they went forth. And when that bell was lifted, man, they had an army of angels all around them. Just cut them to shreds. You look at Ezekiel 1, too, where you have the, the uh, UFOs, okay, which aren't a UFO to God. There's nothing that's a UFO to God, okay. He only saw it sent one angel out. He goes, you start at the pulpit and you work your way all the way down, man. Now, when you got somebody saying, oh, we're going to go into this other dimension and stuff, uh, man, it, this earth, it, oh, it, all electricity be shut off. Oh, really? Well, then you're talking about 440 nuclear power plants exploding at one time. Man, this reminds me of camping. And his garbage. I mean, people, you know, wow. You know, going after fairy tales and stuff, man. Look, the Earth's in trouble. That's a gimme. Every time this Earth has had major ice melts, this Earth went through major changes. Well, I was doing it again. That's just reality. That's why you want to have a plan and be ready to move when you have to. To, to you know, have equipment so you can ride this thing out, man. You know, at least get the knowledge of edible wildlife and edible uh, wild plants and, and ways to find water. You're going to see a lot of earthquakes, you know. That area down in Mexico, Baja, yeah, I, I see it as a, a big trouble spot. The Earth's expanding, okay. And with this expansion... It causes those lower areas to shift. That's why you started seeing earthquakes over there in Colorado and Oklahoma and Texas and Alabama and uh, Arkansas and uh, Virginia, Ohio, New York. 
Man, it, this earth is widening. You are going to see earthquakes everywhere. <laughs> uh, you see this big landslide happening up there in Norway. 20 tons more fish dead. You're going to see all kinds of dead fish all over this planet. Wow. You know. Yeah, I mean, just look at all the mercury coming out of over there in the Philippines right now. These volcanoes throw that stuff up too. You know, it's you. You got so many dynamics happening. You got uh, this methane gas release up there in the Arctic Sea. Uh, they haven't seen in 400,000 years. You got big troubles. Uh, and then you know you got bees dying from. Uh, you got mega problems everywhere, man all around you and it's only going to get worse from here it always has done during major ice melts does the word confirm it? sure it does where God ain't going to return boy it's written in the stars man so it's right in the book but man you got a lot of false prophets and prophetesses and all kinds of weird stuff going on right now coming from every pulpit and then anytime somebody's tied in with these money systems, okay, and they're getting involved with the tar sands project, which scientists now say, well, you know, they do that tar sands project, you know, you're, you're talking about the fatal wound to the earth. Okay, now this is the part of the United States, and I've walked the grid. All right, this is the reason why. This ocean is sinking. And NASA's already confirmed that the ocean sea level fell last year. And you had record melts. The, the ocean is sinking. And this whole coast out here, Cascadia, is tilting. Okay, do I see a seven on that? Sure I do. Uh, down here, you got massive weight in loading and unloading of weight coming through these areas. You know, you, you, this whole area, when you got massive pressure and weight down here on the Atlantic Ocean and over here off from uh, Canada and then up here towards Iceland, you know, it, the, the water's pulling out there. That's why you're starting to see more and more earthquakes happening out here. But the problem is, is that it pulls the continent this way and pulls the continent that way, okay? And as it pushes down, okay, and sinks it, that means this area starts to give and go up give through a magma push. Now you've had major rains coming through here through Newton Madrid this year. So it's like taking a big weight, putting it here, putting a big weight out here, big weight out here, and and it's it's gonna it's gonna bow it's gonna give and since you have stretched this direction and stretched this direction okay it Wichita Kansas man it, you know it's just science it, we're getting record numbers of water it's pulling out here man it we lost over a thousand gigatons of weight just off of Greenland in the last two years okay a gigaton one billion tons massive weight and every time we have these massive melting events like the last time in 1812 where you had the United Kingdom go into a freeze because the current stalled and also New Madrid went off 1812 you also had uh, uh, Mount Shasta blow in 1814 you know but anytime you have these massive loss of ice you run into these conditions last time the ice came off of more of this region it, uh, you, you got dynamics setting up here that are incredible and then over here in the Arctic Sea I mean they, they, it's good all that Arctic summer ice is going to be gone by the year 2015 three years from now man that's not even split second earth time you got big problems and and that's the conveyor belt for the for the your weather system you know, once you go into climate chaos, it doesn't stop. It keeps going, all right, till the Earth fixes itself. And you're talking another 12 Californias worth of ice going into the Pacific Ocean. And that's why you're, you're seeing the, the destruction of Japan. It's going to get hit with another huge quake. 
this lower area is going to get hit with another quake. The earth may even try to open up a passage through Guatemala. That's, that's, uh, or the Panama Canal. It, it, you know, I'm kind of tell you, you're just going to see more and more volcanoes going off. Uh, and when this one in Iceland takes off, okay, it is sitting right on a glacier. It's, it's, it's going to melt that glacier right into the ocean. Uh, who knows how much weight goes off of that and then Greenland it's just a runaway you know you got holes in your ozone man you gotta stop okay so have a plan these lower states according to the 2030 report are considered second world your coast they're all in trouble uh, it's you're, you're gonna have dead fish coming up like crazy uh, uh, on top of everything else I mean wow you want to get away from the coast man you, you know at least start prepping man you know start prepping start preparing for this stuff and and this thanks for my well, sub who sent me uh, 45 bucks I went and got a phone card so I'm, my phone's active again folks <laughs> I love you guys man information shock resistance and you know this is just science and, and yeah I gotta put this area it, you know it was looking bad last year I, I thought it'd probably go by then and since it's still hanging in there, man, it's definitely on the chalkboard this year. It's big time on the chalkboard. You know, it's, it's just a matter of time where you get too much weight out here, too much weight out there, and it, it, it too much weight coming in through here, through, through storm activities or melt coming from the, the permafrost in Canada and stuff, especially since you had all this warm weather. And, you know, you had colder weather down here, warmer weather up there. You know, your your climate's flipping. It's going to do all kinds of flips, man. You're just seeing the start of this stuff. But, uh, you know, I love you, man. Have a plan. Liberty Broadcasting Network. Entertaining. I feel good that I'm keeping myself informed. It's great. They say everything that people want to say, but they usually don't. Can you handle the truth?